So let's look at the, another expression. So this expression is now in a SOP form. SOP meaning it's a sum of products. So we have the three products A multiplied by B complement multiplied by C. This is one product. This is another one. This is third one. And last one is the, they are attached through the OR gate. So we have the at the output we have the sorry not this one we have the OR gate right. So inputs are the all of these terms here. So this one is one input here. This one is another input here and so on. Okay. So now the I will just show the easiest way. Of course, you can do the step by step. You can do the first uh, A multiplied by B component and then C and then you can do the, this one and then you can do this one and then finally evaluate the X, the step by step one. But I will show you the quickest way. The quickest way is that whenever you see the SOP expression, it's easier to find the inputs when the output is equal to one. Okay, so we'll find all the inputs when uh, all the inputs when the output is equal to one. Okay. So let's look at the each term. In order the OR gate, so this is the, again, the, let's look at the OR gate, to produce one, we just need the, any inputs to be equal to one, right? Anything, any, if the, for example, if B multiplied by C complement equal to one, the output will be automatically one. We don't have to evaluate these other inputs, right? So as long as any of these inputs are equal to one, output will be one. So let's find the when these inputs are equal to one. Let's look at the, for example, the A, B complement C, right? So this one, this A, B complement C equal to one when A is one, B is zero, C is one, right? Because this is a multiplication. This is the only case when this first term equal to one, one, zero, one. Okay, so let's find the one, zero, one. One, zero, one is here. So in this case, the output will be one. Next, let's look at this one, A complement, B, C complement. Again, this term is equal to 1 in only one case. When A is 0, multiplied by 1, multiplied by 0 complement, right? So, 0, 1, 0. When the input is 0, 1, 0, output will be 1. 0, 1, 0 is here, so we put 1 here. The last one is actually A is missing here. So we just look at the BC. Okay. So when this term is equal to 1, when the B is 1 multiplied by 0 complement. So when the C is 0. So as long as the B and C is 1, 0, output will be equal to 1. So let's ignore the A for now. We don't look at the A. We just look at the B and C. 1, 0. Let's find 1, 0 is here. 1. Another 1, 0 is here. 1. Okay, so now you have the, all the cases when the output equal to 1. Rest is 0. You don't have to evaluate them. Okay, so this is the quickest way to find the truth table for the SOP expression. Again, for the SOP cases, all you have to do is to find the inputs when the output is equal to 1. Thank you.